What is up everybody, I'm your Legendary Commander, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In this video, we're going to talk about how Stealth is the most OP skill. You sensing a pattern here? I am, and that is every skill is OP if you know how to use it. So I will make this argument that maybe as the game progresses, the AI will get better, and Stealth may not be as OP as it is at the moment. Today is, of course, 10-14-2020 when I'm doing this video. The stream you're watching was from about a week back, but this stuff still holds true so far. Stealth has a few options. You can engage enemies or move around enemies at stealth and not get spotted, which is the general premise of stealth. When you go stealth, you see a bunch of red blocky areas. That is the areas the enemy can see. These areas may move as you're running around, so you can accidentally get swept up into a red block if you're not paying attention of whether the fact that the enemy turns around occasionally. Then there's the fact that when you're in stealth, you can take shots or attack enemies stealthily and possibly kill them before anything happens. This may not happen all the time as the enemy may be too strong and you may roll too low and he's able to scream out for help. But if you hit him hard enough, you just might kill him in one blow and no battle will actually commence. If you have a buddy with you and you don't think you made the strike, sometimes you can make a sequent shot with your friend and kill an enemy before anyone even finds out. You may still initiate combat if something along the lines of they see their compatriot killed. Well, that might initiate combat. Or if for some reason, neither one of you were able to kill him. So after you've hit your target, you will be faced with a stealth check for your character. If he passes that stealth check, guess what? The shot was a free shot. Now the enemy may come looking, but overall you're safe, which means you can take another shot and try and take him out. Now the next great thing about stealth is all to do with what happens in battle, once you are in battle. If you have any allies who are currently stealthed and that have not joined the battle, they are free to roam the map. They could essentially walk to the other side of the earth while you don't even take a turn. Yes, that's right. Nothing else moves, but yet your characters can still move, which means if you're low on health, they could in theory go run and get health potions. However, they are discovered along that way by an enemy, they will be forced into their own turn-based actions. Now, my friend wasn't actually stealthed in this case, but it is possible as long as you don't get involved in the first place, which means you can put yourself in a very advantageous position before open firing. While you may have pulled them all towards you, taking several turns to do that, you may then have one of them climb down the ladder and then run out the front door. You may have only taken two, three turns to get them that far away, but meanwhile, your character that is active has literally made moves that would have taken 20 turns. Now, there's the other side of stealth in combat. When you're in stealth, if the enemy cannot locate any enemies, so far, they stop moving. They don't know where to go, and they don't try and hunt you down. Especially when the enemy can't get to you no matter what. If all your characters are able to hide, the NPCs don't seem to respond to you. This means, in theory, after you've done this, you can disengage and move somewhere else, or maybe even leave the combat entirely. As you've been seeing in this video, I was fighting with several enemies. I would pop up, I would shoot an arrow at him, and then I would jump behind the edge of the building. And as long as I stood up and didn't remember to crouch and go stealth, I was seeing the enemy would try to advance and maneuver or throw something at me. Meanwhile, when I did the same action, firing an arrow and then ducking behind the peak of the roof and going stealth, the enemy lost sight of me. At that point, he stood still, and I was able to keep popping up over the roof, fire an arrow, and then duck behind that roof again. I was able to rinse and repeat this with a character that basically had no health left, with two other characters dead, and my friend ran to go get medical supplies. In the end, I wiped out most of all of their health with a single character. Yes, there were some distractions in the beginning, but most of that damage was still done by my character. So guys, this is the power of stealth and why stealth is probably one of the most OP bonus actions you can take. And that is going to be it for this video. If you all enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you tell your friends. Leave a comment. Do you have any questions? Anything you want to ask? Maybe I can answer it. But you all take care. And I'll catch you next time.